Hi guys. I decided I needed to sort out this cupboard. So I figured, as I don't often talk about these or show these, I would go through my die-cast cars, because they're going under the bed. Um, so I'm going to start with one of my favourite possessions, which is this case full of cars, because most of them in here are in excellent condition. Not mint, not perfect, but in excellent condition. In fact, that one's mint, and this is actually one of my favourite fire engines. It's the 50th anniversary one. In absolute mint condition. That's why it's in this case. It's a Dennis Sabre, and the detail on it is super. You wouldn't find the um, ordinary Dennis Sabres. They, you know, they well, they would have sold them for 99p back then. Um, as detailed as that, we've got this one, which is a little Merryweather, Leyland Merryweather. Merryweather being the uh, coach builder. That's in good condition. This ladder likes to be a pain. Solves that problem. <laughs> I've got a few various old emergency vehicles here. I've got some uh, mercury there. A little single red dome light on the roof. And a little guy in there, a little police officer. I've got this, uh, I've got a ticket nose, hang on. I've got this uh, good condition Cadillac ambulance. Again, it's not in mint. In good condition. I actually bought this case full of cars for 20 quid out of a local collector's shop. Not all of these cars, though. A lot of these are vehicles I've put in because there's a lot of uh, non-matchbox put in this. So I've actually, This is all matchbox in here, by the way. Here's this one, which is another... One of the few mint ones that are in here. I can't remember if I've actually got the red version. It's sort of a brownie colour version. And I've got the Volkswagen Transporter ambulances. Now they did, I think, three versions of these and I've got all three. The other two, not as in good condition as this one. But some of the vehicles I actually like so much that I buy multiples of them. What else have we got? I've got one of these. I've got three or four different versions of this as well. Same with these uh, Plymouth Furies that I've got in here that I can't get out. Can't get hold of him. There we go. I've got this one. That one, which doesn't, which has got different colour glass in the windows or plastic, whatever you want to call it. And interior to this one. We've got, we've got over here, we've got the uh, Camper Doofy truck. What is it? Oh, it just says Camper. I could never identify old trucks like this. Not old American ones, I'm not that good. Little Mini, again in near mint condition. This came with the case as well. That one, that one. These two. That one, that one, and that one, in, and that one. In this top part, they all came with this. Got two different colour BMW 323s here. Yeah, not, in bad, not in perfect condition, but not in bad. I've got a Lincoln Town car. I think I've still got the white version of that one as well, and I've got the Rover Sterling here as well. Another one of my little favourites. And if I lift these two out, I'm not going to show you what's in that one because there's nothing that interesting. Just a few of my larger cars and these, which I'm certain I've shown on video before. Here's what's underneath. All the ones in this tray came with this. Um.
and that one and this one that's actually one vehicle that's the trailer to go with that and I've got one in red but I don't have the canopies for the red one which doesn't matter and I've got this absolute mint Ford Mustang here with a matte black hood that does open up that's actually quite a beautiful little car that one I don't really collect them anymore I sort of stopped unless I see something that really catches my eye I've got this Dodge Charger drag car apparently this one is actually a really rare one that's one of the reasons I keep these ones in here specifically because everything else I've got ain't in tip top condition I've got the Ford Mustang Piston Popper which is part of the Rollomatic series if you roll these front wheels round you can just see the mechanism in there see it? the little red pistons in the engine move up and down I've got another Rollomatics in the tray under this one I'll show you that in a second Now we've got the Volks Dragon, they called this one. There's little eyes on there and the air intake. There's a little standard Volkswagen Beetle down here. Oh, that one came with this set as well. The Mer is that Mercury Estate? I think it is. Or a wagon. Let's call it a Mercury police car on the bottom, but. It's a Mercury Wagon, I think I've got some more of these, or at least another one. This is a rarity as well. It's rare because you don't often find these skip trucks, not only in this good condition, but with the skip. Yeah, we call them skips here, I don't know what they're called elsewhere. Dumpster? Would you call that a dumpster in America? No? Yes? I don't know. And I've got the Ford Limited police car, the standard version. Then I've got this one, which is extremely rare. So it was a limited edition. It's got a few marks in it, which pissed me off because I dropped it. And that one here, there's very few of these uh, gold ones produced. This one changes colour under warm water. It goes like a beigey cream colour. And I've got this one. I think that was one of mine that I put in there. You don't see many of these with the boom. Typical of kids, they always pull them off and then they get lost. So it's hard to find one with the boom. That is it. There's a few nice cars here. I don't know what this one is. What is it? A Maserati. I've just got a standard Mercury estate there. Wagon, I should say. Station wagon. We call them estate cars here in Britain. That's why I called it an estate. Estate, that is. Right. Uh, I don't know what to show next, to be honest. I've got a few on the floor there. Not a lot in the top of that basket thing there, not worth showing. There's some on the floor. Right, I'm going to put some up on the bed here. Just line some up because I've got to sort that basket and that box out anyway. I want to stack them in there nice and tidily. I might get more in there actually if I do that. And uh, Okay, I'm back and this time I've got my Mustangs out. All of these are all Ford Mustangs. <clears throat> I got that one which was a birthday present quite some time ago from a friend of mine. Quite a nice looking one. Oh, checking back up there. Now I've got all of these. Most of these are Hot Wheels. There's some Matchbox in here and a few Corgis but the rest are all pretty much Hot Wheels. This one it's actually by Maisto. I don't know if they still exist, but that's a Boss 302. Uh, I'm just about 
every design of Mustang I think they ever did in here, if not at least the more common ones. That's a nice one. I do like the um, labelling on that one. Here's an old matchbox with the steering wheel feature. And I've got a black one over here. I painted this one black because, uh, well, there's pretty much no white paint left. So I just did my own uh, paint job on that one. Yeah, I'll just try to see what other favourites I've got. I like this one, which is a matchbox. Yeah, it's another one of my favourite stangs in this lot. Uh, I'm not keen on the Mac 1s, so that's not one of my favourites. It's probably my least favourite, that one. I've got these ones from Corgi. I've got three of these in different colours. I've got this one. There's the orange one right there. And the white one. There. And I think that's another Matchbox one. Mm, no, it isn't, actually. I don't know who made that one. It's a nice little one, though. Convertibles. I've got another one of these, I think. That's uh, lost its window. This has got the window, but I've got another one in silver. I can't see it though. I oh, know I took it out of the box. There it is. Poor thing has lost its windshield. See? <laughs> Poor thing. I think my favourite style overall would be the fastback. The old 60s fastback. Which I've got quite a few of. Uh, probably the more modern ones like this one. Which is a matchbox as well. It's a GT500. A 2007 GT500. The only reason I like these is because they sort of modernised the old fastback look. And I actually think Ford did it quite well, you know. They made the old sort of 68, 69 fastback. That's not a fastback, that's a Mac. There we go. Um, and modernised it. Got one in police get up over here. It's a Mac one as well, so is this one. Got this one with the big blown engine in the front, and I got cars falling beside me. <laughs> I've got all sorts, but these are one of my fa these are one of the bunch that I just could not get rid of. It's a nice little red fastback here. Very well detailed. Something went a bit weird with the tail light on that corner. You see that on the right hand side. Right. I'm going to shift these and I'm going to get the next lot I want to show set up. Right, I've got a few of my favourite Hot Wheels next. And I also found two more Mustangs. And another police sheriff one. So I've got some of my favourite cars out here I'm going to zoom you in actually Ooh. so you can see a bit better out a bit I think so we've got in this middle row if I just move you these are all my Chevelles all in this row to here actually off camera uh, I've got a wagon, nice wagon there, two wagons, that one's got, uh, that one's got uh, Hot Wheels on it, Hot Wheels City written on the side of it. Got my uh, three 57 Chevys here. I think they're 57. Hang on. Uh, 
I can't read it. I've got to, uh, we'll just go turn the light on. And uh, re-angle one, I think. <laughs> to do with a bit of light, can we just get in dark? That flickering was just the board hitting the light switch. Right, oh, I'm sweating, I'm only doing this. Here we go then. Park we bottom down here. So, I've got the skulls one, with the nice red wheels. And I've got this uh, nice white one with the number 70. Hot Wheels as well, written on it with nice red wheels, same red wheels actually. And then I've got this one, Edelbrock. And Edelbrock, for those that don't know, are a manufacturer of carbs. Carburetors, tuned carburetors at that. And got this little mini, which also does this if I flick. There's a little catch at the back there, and if I just push it down. Take the shell off. The only problem is that catch moves by itself and the shell falls off. I've got another Ford Limited police car. But, uh, my own paint job, but that's for the old Matchbox Intercom City sets. Uh, I'm going to show all my Chevelles. I'm only going to show three because they're the got the interesting things on them. That one's got Rylman's Root Beer written on it. I presume I pronounced that right. Rylman's. R-I-E-H-L-M-A-N-S. Uh, what's this one? Now that one's just got taxi plastered all over it. And... Nestle Butterfinger fingers finger come on had those in ages oh this is the other one I wanted to show just because I like the um, decor of the flames and the matte colour on this or the flat colour we tend to call it matte over here but I know in America you call it a flat colour so Sort of a flat black colour. Nice uh, skull and crossbones on the hood there. That's another nice one. Then I've got these two. Which are just like that Mustang I showed earlier. All done up in the Hot Wheels blue. This one's a rare one because it's got the red wheels. The red lines on the wheels. That's what they call red line. Or the red lines. Apparently rare. Look at that, I think that's the only red lines red lined one I got out. Nice matchbox Cadillac sedan. I did have a pink one, but I can't remember if I've still got it. I've got a couple Mitsubishi Evo 10s in a couple of different colours. One of my favourite Japanese cars is the Evo 10. There's a couple of Dodge Chargers. There's a DeLorean. Standard DeLorean. Uh, don't know if this... <laughs> I think the batteries are dying in that one. But the LEDs on the top are supposed to flash as well. I think I might have to put some new batteries in that one. And I've got that Dodge Charger. The 06 one. And that one. I suppose I might as well go through what I've got over here as well. Subaru Impreza or Scooby police car. I've got the Dodge Charger wagon. Sheriff car. And I got that one as well. Not the 
No, 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 they're not Dodge Charger, are they? Hang on. Dodge Magnum, that was it. Sure, I've got another one. Got a silver one. Oh, that's right, it doesn't have a light bar on the roof. Um, something I know Cat's Custom Trikes would like. Citroen 2CV. Uh, got quite a few on the top of this case. I mean, I've got a few um, collectible corgis. Um, Home Life Ford Sierra. I've also got very good condition Duckham's one. A nice Land Rover. That's actually a very nice Land Rover. I like that one. Good old Skoda. Not the best looking cars, but bloody reliable. You might get deafened by a siren in a minute. I'm just going to let that go past. There was actually two sirens. I could hear a police car following it. That ain't good. And he's still got the siren on, so that still isn't good. I think that's an Evo 9, that one. And we've got pol Police Evo 10. That's quite nice, I like that one. No, I didn't. I thought I'd already shown that one, but then I realised I showed the other Scooby police car. Uh, there's another Corgi did a lot like this. This is a Polo Porsche. And we've got another Corgi British Petroleum Opel Cadet, or Vauxhall Nova, as they were known as over here. I think they were known as a Cadet. I think it's got it written on the bottom. No, nope, Vauxhall Nova. Uh, there's the white Lincoln Town Car. I knew I kept it. Golden Wonder. Corgi Ford Sierra. Just a plain ordinary Evo 10. Nothing fancy on that one at all. Uh, there we go. Slick top police Dodge Charger. These came in Kellogg's Frosties many years ago as a freebie. They're great. So I can even remember it. Nice big truck. Just says flare side pickup. Probably a Ford or a Chevy or something, right? Someone out there in America that know their trucks would probably know what that is. I do like it. I've got a couple of these little uh, Willy Jeeps. Nice little yellow one. And a little military one which has lost its gun turret. The Dukes of Hazard charger. And la lastly, on the case at least, we've got the Schweppes soft drinks. Pontiac Farbird, I think. Yep. Nice little Schweppes one. Oh, I've got a few down here that fell off. This nice uh, van and this one, which I can't remember what it is. Model A Ford in pretty good condition as well. That is it, I think. 
Well, that's it for now, I'll say. I'm going to get this lot all there uh, cleared. Because I've still got some stacking and there's a few more I want to show you, but I'll show you those in a little while, so talk to you in a bit. Whoops, just caught the camera leg. Oh well. Um, it's the last part. I nearly got this box full. I've actually got twice as much in this box now that I've basically just put them in the box like that. Right? In a row. Hang on. Well, basically, what I've done is just stacked them like that. And uh, I've actually found that if you do that with cars in a box, especially if you're going to store them like I do, that's, um, you can get more in the box doing it that way. But anyway, I'm going to go through some more of my favourites quickly. So, this one is actually looking very, very tired <laughs> and worn because I've had that since I was very little. And I just can't bring myself to get rid of that one. It is actually um, getting rather tired, but here's one that's in um, very good condition. Mac fire truck. I've also got a selection of uh, these Majorette Chevrolet Impalas. I've got this one. I've got a yellow cab, which are in good condition. I've got more Mustangs as well, by the way. I found some more. I've got this military police one, which has actually been with me since again I was little. Uh, and just three of these Highway Patrol. California Highway Patrol ones. I'm going to keep hold of those two, but I'm going to put a third one on the car. Oh, I forgot this one as well. Hang on. The uh, NYPD one. Uh, said I had a red one, didn't I? <laughs> There's the red one. Yeah, I've got. I uh, don't know why that's up here. I've also got the Hot Wheels Batmobile. I've got two of these. Some of these I had two of, and I really do not remember getting two of them. Uh, Butterfingers. Dodge Monaco. That's fairly new, that one. It's one of the Mustangs that I forgot about. Very sort of peculiar colour, that one. And... Whoops, there's two of that just rolled off. It's a nice sort of dark green one with gold stripes. That is one of my favourites, that one. And uh, this one. And a Ford Limited Taxi. I've got a taxi in my case behind me, but uh, it's got different colours to that one. I've got another Ford Sierra here. This one. It's advertising, um, it's got Shell Oils, Gemini, and the British Open Rally Championships on that one. What else have I got up here? Got the little uh, Dick Tracy police car there. Uh, what else have I got? There's another Chevrolet Impala there, police car. I've just thrown a load up here, really. It's one of my favourite Rover SD ones there. It's even got a um, sunroof that opens and closes. <laughs> that's why that is one of my... That's a rare one to find as well. What else have I got hiding up here? Oh! I've got the pink Cadillac. I found that as well. Uh, the Far Chief Ford Limited. They've got several versions of this as well. Another Rolls Royce, another Rolls Royce. Got some more Corgi police cars here. I've got the uh, Ford Sierra. And the one thing I hated with these were the big, bulky, stupid 
blue lights. They did it on this one as well. I've got quite a few of these Rover SD ones by Corgi as well. Some with different stripes on. Some with different stripes on. <clears throat> Corgi Buick Regal police car. And one where the uh, little red light is actually rolling around inside. They all had a habit of uh, just pushing through for some reason. What have I got over here? I've got Matchbox Chevrolet Impala with those uh, sort of laser looking wheel rims on it. It's hard for me to get comfortable doing this. Um, I've got collection of um, Ford Crown Victoria. I've got this blue one. It's a bit dirty. It needs a wash. Uh, they're not the ones where it here is. Matchbox also did two versions of this one. Basically a white one with, the, um, with a black and blue stripe and a black one with a white and blue stripe. Other than that, they are identical. The badge and everything is identical. But um, I have got a thing for the Crown Victorias. I've got quite a few. Some of the newer ones like that and some of the uh, old ones. This one's been with me since my childhood as well. In fact, I remember going to Norwich City with my cousin and bringing that one home. Uh, it's another Sheriff one. Some of these are looking so dusty and dirty, I need to give them a wash. Yay, the California Highway Patrol one. Oh, got another one of them. I've got two. I think. Have I got two or did I just chuck that over there? No, I have got two because I can see it. Oh, and I've got the two white ones as well. That's right, because I want to buy them in pairs for some reason. Oh, and I've got the Fire Chief one as well. Don't ask me why I want to buy them in pairs. I just want to buy them in pairs at the time. Matchbox Rover SD1 with the jam sandwich stripe, as we used to call it. What have I got on the floor? Nice little Pierce fire truck. Matchbox did several variations of this, and I think I've got most of them. There's another one, white one. Uh, what else we got? A good old foam unit. It's basically a recolored camper van because they did the NASA version of this as well. <laughs> the only difference is on the NASA one they didn't put the water cannon on top they put like a little radar on top. I have or did have that very truck somewhere but I haven't seen it. <laughs> Chevy police car. Uh, got some major wreck fire vehicles. Just gonna grab them. I'm pretty certain some of these have been repainted like that one because it's lost the um, decals like this one's got. Just notice it's got a different colour ladder as well. Same style of ladder, just different colour. No, it's got a different ladder altogether. No, it is the same ladder. I will make up my mind eventually. So I've got a couple of those. Got the Range Rover with a very bent ladder. <laughs> a rather bent ladder. These were something else I like to collect, collect as well. The old uh, Mark II Ford Transit tow trucks that Corgi did several variations of. And another. PS fire truck. Hey, guess what? There's another one. <laughs> That's four different ones so far. And um, there's a couple of these. I can't remember what the yellow one is, but the white one's a hazmat truck. 
And I know there's some more versions of that out there as well. Uh, just looking in the pile to see if I can see anything else to show you while I've got the camera on. Yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Another one. <laughs> That's five. I think five is all I've got. I'm pretty certain I don't have any more. Right, what else have we got? I'm trying not to knock the tripod either. Uh, trying to and it's not working. Nah. I just found another Chevelle though. Yeah. There we go. Another Chevelle. I won't stick all this lot away yet. And then I've got to do a vlog. Yay! It's just that this was going to go on too long, so I thought I'd do them separately. We've got a few other, you know, sort of commercial type vehicles like these. The old uh, shell gas tankers. I don't know where my... I'm sure I've got some missing. Or did I just get rid of them when I had a big clear out one day? I just had so many and I was sick of seeing them. I actually did have a huge clean out. And I'm sort of... Kind of sort of regretting doing that now. It's this van over here. Whoa, don't tip it. Loctite. I know that glue still exists. <laughs> Corgi, that one. Renault van of some sort. They just call it a van on the bottom, but I know from the shape it's a Renault. A Renault traffic, I think. I know Matchbox did several variations of this as well. That's the Sky one. Way back before Sky went digital, that one. When Sky was still analog. Oh, hello. Got an Amoco one there. Amoco, however you might pronounce that one. And I've got some rollers and some more fire trucks. I've got a few versions of this. I've even got one down here with like a little bulldozer bit on it with cat written on it. As in caterpillar. Uh, true to form though, I can't see that one. <laughs> Unless it's in the other basket that I've already been through. I think that is it guys. Oh hang on. These are quite interesting. Hot Wheels did some nice ones. Although for some reason this one has got a die cast shell. This one's an all plastic shell. But they're both Hot Wheels so for some reason Hot Wheels just decided on a plastic shell on one of them. Matchbox delivery van. I'm not going to get all these in here. I think the leftovers I'm just going to dump in that tub over there. As long as I can actually get this box and that blue basket behind the camera on top of that and under the bed up the corner. I'm not really fussed. That red box can sit in front of it. Uh, because I barely do anything with these cars, I just don't want to get rid of them. Some of them are a bit too sentimental. Most of the ones I actually got rid of in a huge job lot were just generic, valueless ones anyway. Oh! A little Mark III Ford Escort police car. And we've got... The total one, and I've got another one somewhere. Navy blue one. I don't think it's up here though. I've got a feeling it's in the blue basket, which is all nicely stacked. Alright then, on that note, I'm going to leave the video here. So I hope you like this video. Don't often talk about these because I don't often get them out. That's why I'm moving, moving them out of that closet. Because I'd rather put things in that closet that I use. And the things that I barely use, under this bed, right up the corner here. Because uh, I can get to the cupboard a lot easier, so. 
Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.